After Syndic Underlayment has cured, it's time to mix and apply Syndic IMO Epoxy SS5000 Color Series. Begin by ensuring that the products are close to ambient temperature and that you have all necessary tools available. Open the containers and mechanically mix IMO Epoxy Part A resin by itself at medium speed for one minute. Doing this will reincorporate any pigments and additives in suspension. Notice that we package our IMO epoxy in such a way so that no new containers are needed for the entire mixing process. Next, cut a hole in the chine for the Part B hardener and transfer the contents into the previously mixed Part A resin. Using a spatula and having a hole in the chine will help with efficiently transferring the material in a timely manner. Blend both components together at medium speed for 1-2 to two minutes. Try not to introduce any air into the epoxy while mixing. No induction time is needed, so you can immediately transfer material into a paint tray or pour a ribbon of the IMO epoxy directly onto the surface to be coated. Using a high quality 3 8 inch nap roller cover, saturate the roller and carefully begin spreading the epoxy over the intended working area. This product has a long working time, so there's no need to rush the application. Continue to spread the epoxy at an average thickness of 8 to 10 mils. One kit of IMO epoxy can cover 120 square feet at 10 mils and 150 square feet at 8 mils. A cross roll will assist in evenly spreading the material out. A final back roll will help evenly spread the epoxy. Any roller marks that may be currently visible at the moment will eventually flow and level themselves out. 